Hey, Doc, we better back up. We don't have enough road to get up to 88. Roads? Well, we're going. We don't need roads. Okay, relax, Doc. It's me. It's me. It's Martin. Oh, it can't be. Just sent you back to the future. Yeah. Oh, I know. You did send me back to the future, but I'm back. I'm back from the future. Great Scott. My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious Great Scott! Jennifer could conceivably encounter her future self. The consequences of that could be disastrous. Doc, what do you mean? I foresee two possibilities. One, coming face to face with herself 30 years older would put her into shock and she'd simply pass out. Or two, the encounter could create a time paradox, the results of which could cause a chain reaction that would unravel the very fabric of the space-time continuum and destroy the entire universe. <sighs> Granted, that's a worst-case scenario. The destruction might, in fact, be very localized, limited to merely our own galaxy. Well, that's a relief. Marty, you're gonna have to do something about those clothes. You walk around town dressed like that, you're liable to get shot. Or hanged. What idiot dressed you in that outfit? You did. I need a nuclear reaction to, to generate the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity. 1.21 gigawatts! 1.21 gigawatts! Great Scott! Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Sorry, Doc. It's all my fault you're stuck back there. I never should have let Biff get to me. Well, there are plenty worse places to be than the Old West. I could have ended up in the Dark Ages. They would, probably would have burned me at a stake as a heretic or something. First, you've got to get out and change clothes. But right now, it's pouring rain. Wait five more seconds. Right on the tick. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Too bad the post office isn't as efficient as the weather service. Who's president of the United States in 1985? Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan? The actor? <laughs> then who's vice president? Jerry Lewis. I suppose Jane Wyman is a first lady. Whoa, wait, Doc. And Jack Benny is secretary of the treasury. Oh. Doc, you gotta listen to me. I got enough practical jokes for one evening. Good night, future boy. No, wait, Doc. Doc. Shot in the back by Buford Tannen over a matter of $80. What kind of a future do you call that? Go ahead, quit and get in the car. No, 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 no. Doc, I just got here, okay? Jennifer's here. We're gonna take the new truck for a spin. Well, bring it along. This concerns her, too. Wait a minute, Doc. Well, what are you talking about? What happens to us in the future? We're gonna become <laughs> or something? No, 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 Marty. Both you and Jennifer turn out fine. It's your kids, Marty. Something has got to be done about your kids. <laughs> Hey, Doc, we better back up. We don't have enough road to get up to 88. Roads? Well, we're going. We don't need roads. She encountered her older self and went into shock. Just as I predicted, she'll be fine. Let's get her back to 1985. And then I'm going to destroy the time machine. Destroy it? What about all that stuff about humanity? Where we're going and why? The risks are just too great as this incident proves. And I was behaving responsibly. Just imagine the danger if a time machine were to fall in the wrong hands. Uh, 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 my only regret is that I'll never get a chance to visit my favorite historical era, the Old West. The time traveling is just too dangerous. Better that I devote myself to studying the other great history of the universe. Women. Which one's your pop? That's him. Okay, okay, you guys. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> These guys are being real mature. Maybe we were adopted. <laughs>
Emmett, do you think we'll ever be able to travel to the moon the way we travel across the country on trains? Definitely. Although not for another 84 years and not on trains. We'll have space vehicles, capsules sent off, rockets, devices that create giant explosions. Explosions so powerful that they Did just... They break the pull of the Earth's gravity and send the projectile through outer space. Oh! Nice shot, Doc! You're not gonna believe this! We gotta go back to 1955! I don't believe it! Doc, she didn't even look at him. This is more serious than I thought. Apparently your mother is amorously infatuated with you instead of your father. Whoa, wait, wait a minute. Doc, are you trying to tell me that my mother has got the hots for me? Precisely. Whoa, this is heavy. There's that word again, heavy. Why are things so heavy in that future? Is there a problem with the Earth's gravitational pull? All I can tell you, friend, is you'll get over her. No. <laughs> Clara is one in a million. One in a billion. One in a Googleplex. The woman of my dreams, and I lost her for all time. That's right, Doc. November 12th, 1955. Unbelievable that old Biff could have chosen that particular date. It could mean that that point in time inherently contains some sort of cosmic significance. Almost as if it were the temporal junction point for the entire space-time continuum. On the other hand, it could just be an amazing coincidence. Range! Is this a hold up? It's a science experiment! Stop the train just before you hit the switch track up ahead! Fest. How did you know? I, I, I never got a chance to tell you. What about all that talk about screwing up future events, the space-time continuum? Well, I figured. What the hell? Dr. Brown, I brought this note back from the future, and now it's a race. Of course it's a race. But what does that mean? It means your future hasn't been written yet. No one's has. Your future is whatever you make it. So make it a good one, both of you. We will, Doc. Stand back. All right, boys, buckle up! Hey, Doc! Where are you going now? Back to the future? Nope. Already been there. <laughs> 